Recently, I saw a video by Steve Moe demonstrating the Brennan torpedo and decided to build an impossible boat based on its design. I made a video of me carrying out experiments with it, but I left out the build as it would have made the video too long. If you are coming from that video, thank you for sticking around and checking out the build. And if not, do check out the main video if you want. Here are all the printed parts of this build. I made the middle, front and back separately and connected them with small printed dowels. This is the main pulley spool that the string is going to be wrapped around. I'm using these small bearings on the smaller pulleys the strings will be fed through. These are the small dowels. I made them with a flat edge to make sure they are inserted in a particular way and keep the parts aligned. I also printed this wider pulley in case I needed it. I slowly sanded the inside of the small pulleys and pushed the bearings in making sure they fit was tight. I noticed one of the pulleys had a little crack on the edge but this was fine and I didn't think it would affect the mechanism overall. I sanded the dowels down slowly to make sure that they fit snugly. I'm still learning the different tolerances when using 3D printed parts and I prefer these parts to be slightly larger than required as I can sand them down and fit them exactly as I want. This was the first time I was joining parts using dowels and it turned out a lot better than I thought. Overall when the parts came together they looked perfect and the sound it makes when it clicks is oddly satisfying. <coughs> The holes I made for the pulleys were slightly too small which meant I had to drill into the main body. Even though it didn't go smoothly, this was another personal win as I always had a fear of sanding or drilling into 3D printed parts and this project forced me to try things I have avoided for a long time. It turned out the holes were still too small and it was a little tough to screw the pulleys into place. Oh my, oh, whoa, whoa, uh, I'm okay. Um, I'm just going to pretend you didn't realize that I'm actually a tiny person with huge hands sitting on a camera making these videos. At this point, I figured it would be a good idea to test if the boat floats as it would be a lot of work down the drain if I didn't. No pun intended. I was a little nervous at this point and I was hoping for the best. The relief I had when the boat sat on top of the water was indescribably satisfying. I poked the boat to see if it would move around the water easily. This was the point my hopes for this project started rising and entered the realm of delusion as I kept saying to myself how great it would be if this boat actually worked. I carried on with the build which meant sanding down the main body where the bearings went which also meant that I had to take the rear end of the boat off. This was the very reason I chose to go with the dowels to connect the pieces rather than glue. Once the bearings that connected the large pulley to the propeller was in, I put the rear end back on. I bought this 3mm metal tube on Amazon to connect the large pulley to the propellers which was way more expensive than I expected it to be. Even though I was hesitant, I needed to cut this piece to size so it goes through both bearings and sticks out at the back for the propellers. I don't have any safety glasses so I grabbed a pair of sunglasses instead. And for the most part, I think they will protect my eyes for this next bit. Now, I know I must be breaking a ton of rules here, but I am a novice and I have no idea what I'm doing, so feel free to leave comments on how stupid I'm being right now. Either way, my tube is the correct length I need it to be. Even though both the tube and the inside of the bearings are 3mm, the tube was slightly too big and needed to be sanded down so it would fit. This took much longer than I expected and after a ton of sanding and a ton of sanding paper and ruining my hands, the tube still didn't fit through the bearings. After a few hours, I finally managed to sand the tube down enough to fit nicely through the bearings. Once the rear end was back on, the tube stuck out a nice amount for the propeller. 
I printed these propellers. The first two have straight blades and this third one has a cauliflower style blade. I tried on one of the blades to see what the boat would look like and I must say I really like how this boat is turning out. Next I placed the large pulley between the two bearings in the back section of the boat. It's oddly satisfying watching the propeller spin as I spin the large pulley. I stole a roll of sewing thread from my mom's stash and used it as my string for the mechanism. It took a while to wrap the string around the large pulley but it was important I used as much string as possible as I need a lot of string to cover a relatively small distance with this design. Finally I guided the string via the pulleys through the tube out the back. I decided to put the cauliflower propeller and do the test with this propeller first. Again, it was oddly satisfying to see the propeller spin when I pulled the string back and I was getting excited to see how the boat would perform on the water. If you haven't checked out my video testing this boat, uh, it didn't go as well as I had hoped and I had a few issues that I had to address. Now, thanks for watching and um, like, subscribe if you want. I don't know.